Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about OpenSynchore, which is an interactive software available at Barnet Southgate College. If it's not available already on the desktop, then you can download it by Zenworks, and the icon that you're looking for is the one over here. So there's like a little speech bubble or, or a pad with a pen. So that's OpenSynchore. And it's quite similar to the Smartboard software, except that you don't have four pens, you actually just have the one pen. Now I'm going to talk to you about the navigation. I'll start off with this over here which is the stylus. You've also got the toolbar at the top which I'll go to next and then thirdly I'll look at uh, the menu option here which is full of lots of interactive features. So the first thing is you can use the annotation, you can annotate your documents or you can write on the board using um, the stylus here. So I'll select the pen and here I can pick a colour so I'll pick blue I can also pick the thickness of the line that I, I would like, so I'll pick a really thick line there and I'll just show you, yes, you can write on the board there. You can also delete any mistakes by pressing undo here or if you select the eraser uh, option uh, and then you can erase this out. Now at the moment it's set on, I think it's the smaller setting here, but you can move this up so that like the interactive whiteboard with the smart boards you can erase anything that you want to there and then you'd go back and click on this icon so this is your safe button that you pick normally. Um, what you can also do as well is highlight something so let me just show you an example of this again and you can pick the highlighter so you've got a number of colors that you can choose from so you've got red, yellow, blue, green so I'll pick yellow and I'll just show you that actually yet yeah, so that you can do that so you can do something similar to the smart board um, okay so you can interact with certain items so if there's an object you can grab it and move it around by using the hand icon there you can magnify or make something smaller there and virtual laser pointer so we'll leave this one here you can draw lines write text capture part of the screen which is really nice or you've got your virtual keyboard so if this comes up, you can actually touch uh, the screen and start typing in a text box, for example. So that's your stylus there. The pens, the, the options that you use the most are this one, which is select and modify objects, and you'll probably use this uh, annotation document or the pen icon the most. Now moving on, let's have a look at the toolbar. So the toolbar basically gives you lots of options, um, and you can go through these. So the basic options are the colors of the, the pen that you've chosen or the width of the line or the thickness of the line uh, how large your eraser is you can actually choose the background color so you don't have to stick with this you can choose a completely different color for your background depending on what's suitable for your learners I'm just going to stick with a plain one because I prefer this um, so you've got add page buttons so you can actually add different pages now the navigation pane is on the left hand side here so you can press this and let's see what's happened here. Yep, yeah. so now I can see that there's a few pages there. So I can put a title page there. I've got page one with my contents, page two. And when you hover over certain objects and even the pages, you get these icons. So you've got um, these drop down menus that you can click on, which are not working for me at the moment. So you can delete um, a page if you want to. Now, and you can hover between them as well, so you can do previous, next, as you would do with a normal interactive smart board. Um, you've got this option here where you can select web, so you can actually access the internet while you're on your interactive smart board. You can insert documents in as well, So and you can do something slightly different, which you can't do that I'm aware of on the smart board, which is show desktop. And you can start writing on your desktop with a stylus, so let's say you want to highlight um, the icon for... Open Syncall, so there it is. So that's my Open Syncall um, icon, so you can highlight that. And if you want to go back to your desktop, so you've got the stylus on the left hand side here, you can click Show Desktop for, sorry, Show Open Syncall Software. Um, so you can flip between the two, so you can Show Desktop and Show Open Syncall Software. You've also got this drop down menu here, which gives you lots of other options as well. So, one of them is that you can actually record your entire um, presentation, especially if you've got a laptop as I have at the moment that it records your voice. Um, so, this is quite useful because you can record this and put this onto uh, YouTube. So, now I'll talk you through the menu option here. 
Um, so the menu option, you've got audio, so you can import any audio um, files. Um, I won't go into those at the moment. Uh, the ones that you will use a lot are interactive objects. So you've got lots and lots of different objects here that I will do another tutorial on to go through every single one of them that you can actually use and, and use them as games. So here's a multiple choice activity that you can actually import. And let's have a look. Some of the other things that you've got are applications. So the applications are quite interesting because you can actually insert things like, let's say, notes, add this to the page. So as this is a French software, a lot of the things will be in French. Um, let's say lesson objectives. And you can have your objectives displayed on every single slide. So now I'm going to make that slightly smaller. Um, and you could write down your lesson objectives here and then make sure that this is duplicated and it's in every single lesson that you've got. So I'm going to move this. What else have we got? So if we go back to interactive activities, you've got notes, you've got uh, the option of putting a map, um, Google Maps as well. You can import videos or put something in terms of Wikipedia in there. You've got certain maths uh, objects that you can put in as well. So you've got a ruler here. So let's put this there. And you've got plenty of different features that it just takes time to, to look through them to find which is best for your class. I'm going to show you this one because I quite like this. Let me minimize this menu here and I'll minimize this one too. And you've got something called cache which means in French it means uh, something that's hidden. Now what you can do is with your learners is you can play an activity so they answer a question and if they get it right you can show them part of the screen so that they have to guess what's behind uh, so you can you can play different activities with your with your students depending on the level and whether it's suitable um, let's go back what else do you have you have um, which is always quite useful a calculator and you can import certain web objects as well now I'm just going to show you other things that you can put into here as well such as shapes you've got um, animations and you can put movies let's add this to page let's see what happens here okay nothing's happening here I think because I've not chosen um, the actual movie I would like to import okay so we'll explore that one later um, you can actually put pictures in there as well which is quite useful so actions uh, and it's all in French unfortunately so you can make a storyboard and add certain things to the page now I realize what's going on I didn't come out of cache so applications I was in this particular application and it's still active here so I'm going to close that so that I can bring back some of the things that I was trying to show you earlier okay so there's a duplication here and I can get rid of that by doing this and here's a maths video sorry a science video that was imported So you can play these type of objects inside your um, interactive smart board. Um, so what I will do now is I will finish off here and I will make another tutorial to show you uh, a little bit more of the menu options. Thank you very much.